number six. They like to give me wake-up calls now. Good morning. Did you look outside today? It's much worse than they expected. That storm, it's a category four, and it's growing fast. You need to get out. It's gonna be tough to get out of the city. Well, I have something for your mission. You see that envelope on the table? Number five. Number four.
Number 3. Number two. My name's Carol Shelby, and performance is my business. What better way to live up to his legacy by us doing that Shelby GT350 through Ford? Very modern, new Mustang taken to a whole other level. And the noise they make is just delicious. This is by far the most ambitious powertrain program we've ever done. This car is going to be phenomenal. It really has been designed and not styled. This team has developed a fantastic vehicle. Number one. To me, a Koenigsegg, well, of course, it's a car, but it's much more than that. It's basically my whole life. The company Koenigsegg that I founded, it's pretty much all I am and all I do. I spend all my energy, all my time, all my passion. And when you run along those roads of opportunity or whatever, you end up somewhere else and usually at a higher level than we ever dreamt of. And having done that for 15, uh, 20 years, we're at a very, very interesting uh, point with our cars where they are really outstanding in, in, in what they can achieve. And meaning it has more power, it's lighter, it's faster, it can corner faster, it does things that other cars just cannot do. We went through every little detail. We changed the layup of the carbon fiber, we redid the aerodynamics, we redid the brakes, the tires, the wheels, even the pedals. And in the end, that car was over 100 kilos lighter than our previous car, creating the cars together with the employees that feels like my family and the cars are like my children together with my two sons. So I guess to me, Koenigsegg is yeah, pretty much everything. have a very different development process where we don't really set up certain goals it's more like we have this energy and time to spend let's see how far we can take it and usually with that open-minded process you find ways along the way which you couldn't uh, understand in the beginning 
I think it was the only way for me to do this, because if I saw it as work, creating and building these cars, it would be way too much work. But if I see it as my passion, everything becomes quite easy to do and, and fun. It's just creating something beyond what should be possible to do. So when we developed the one-to-one -one program, our most extreme car to date, and the most extreme road-going, series-produced car ever made on the planet Earth, when you have reached a level, you can always reach another level. And when you reach that level, even though it's incredible and fantastic and no one has ever been there before, you can always reach the next level because you get new platforms along the way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day. Subscribe today! What are you waiting for? Because there's a